The town of Smyrna had a secret. The child of Smyrna vanished without a trace. Parents whispered fears of a shadowy figure, a boogeyman snatching their children away. Year after year, the fear grew, casting a long dark shadow over Smyrna. Cordelia, a bright-eyed girl with long blonde hair, lived in fear of this night. She would lie awake in an old cabin in the woods, listening to the wind howl like a mournful spirit. The townsfolk kept searching for the children but never found them. Despair hung heavy in the air, and the shadow over Smyrna grew even darker. Little did they know, this was just the beginning of something far more sinister. Ten years passed, and the townsfolk never found an answer about what happened to their children. Cordelia lived in this old cabin by herself all these years. She was cursed and wished it would go away. She spent her days exploring the woods surrounding Smyrna, finding solace in the company of animals. They didn't fear her. She felt an unspoken connection with them. One day, deep in the woods, Cordelia stumbled upon an ancient gnarled tree. Its branches were twisted and gnarled, its leaves a sickly yellow. As she touched its rough bark, a jolt of energy surged through her, and she knew that her life was about to change forever. As Cordelia grew older, she wanted to get back what was taken from her. The townsfolk spoke of strange occurrences in the woods, of whispers and shadows that moved just beyond sight. Cordelia embraced her solitude, but wanted to be around people. She delved deeper into the woods, drawn by an unseen force. She learned to listen to the whispers of the wind, to read the language of the trees. She discovered a hidden world, teeming with magic and mystery. One moonless night, deep in the heart of the forest, Cordelia encountered the source of the whispers, a gathering of figures cloaked in darkness, their eyes glowing with an eerie light. Terror threatened to consume Cordelia, and voice echoed through the clearing, speaking of a prophecy, of a chosen one who would break the curse of Smyrna if she could. Cordelia, filled with a strange sense of destiny, knew that the voice spoke of her. The creatures of the night, drawn to her growing power, pledged their allegiance to her. They became her eyes and ears in the forest, her protectors and her guides. Cordelia was no longer alone. She had found her purpose. Years passed and Cordelia's powers grew. She became one with the forest, her very being intertwined with its magic. But the memory of her missing friends and of her own stolen youth haunted her. She yearned to break the curse, to reclaim what was lost. One night, a voice whispered to her in the darkness. It spoke of a hidden realm, a place where time held no sway, the underworld. There it said, Cordelia could bargain for her heart's desire, but the price it warned would be steep. Driven by her burning desire to restore, reclaim her youth, Cordelia decided to pay the price. With a heavy heart, she prepared to make a pact with forces beyond her control. The underworld was a place of shadows and whispers. Cordelia met with an unseen hand, a figure cloaked in darkness, its eyes burning with cold fire. You seek to alter the course of fate, the figure boomed, its voice echoing through the old cabin. But time, once lost, cannot be so easily regained. Are you willing to pay the price? Cordelia, her voice trembling, stated her desire. She would give anything, she vowed, to restore and reclaim her stolen youth. The figure chuckled, a chilling sound that echoed through the cabin. Very well, it said. Your wish is granted, but know this. Once you accept this, you can never go back. Choose wisely, for the path you tread is fraught with peril. Something Wicked in This Town is a story by J. Barr available on Amazon.